TPO Rankings. Hello and welcome back to the TPO Rankings show and podcast. With me is Jake. Jake, how are you going this evening? Very well, thank you, Cody. How's it going there for you? Yeah, doing very well, Jake. Just we were having a bit of a chat just before, looking at all the the live FFA Cup games happening and the results at the moment. There's a bunch of games around the country going on. So and and last night as well. And I don't think any big shocks, though, Jake. No big clubs out uh, this round as yet. But there could no, be no, not tonight. yet. There's a couple of scores. We'll keep an eye on though. Yeah, one one in particular to mention is Sydney United down two 0 to Bankstown in forty uh, first minute. So that would be a huge upset. Um, the other results look pretty, no big clubs really in danger at the moment though. Not yet. So tonight, Jake, just another regular show. We're going to run through the, all the NPLs around the country and look at the results from the weekend. And then you picked out a few games, um, not from, ev- from every league or not, you might have skipped think, one or two. No, I think I missed one or two of the leagues. I've just, I didn't want to necessarily or force it. Uh, so I've just pulled out the ones that I think are worth Interest you. keeping an eye on. Yeah. And what jersey you got on tonight? Is that a Hamilton? Hamilton, Missouri tonight. Yeah. the Northern one of my New favorites. South Wales NPL. No, um, North no. New South Wales Division Zone Premier League, I believe. Oh, okay. Third yeah. division in North New South Wales. Oh, yeah. third dip. Lovely. Yeah, right. I got the Dandenong City jersey on tonight, Jake, from the Victorian MPL. Very good. Who had an FFA Cup win last night? Oh, did they? Richmond. Oh, that's good. They had a draw on the well, weekend maybe, too. Yeah, in the last few days anyway. And at the end of the show, we'll go through the top 25 movement in the top 25 and then an update on the under 23 uh, draft pick team. So yep. let's get started in Victoria. South Melbourne got up 1-0 over Green Gully away from home. Oakley and Melbourne Knights played to out, played out a two-all draw. Avondale beat Eastern Lions 2-0. Altona and Dandy City 2-all. Hume City beat Port Melbourne Sharks 1-0. Dandenong Thunder 1-0 over St. Albans Saints. And Heidelberg and Bentley Greens, uh, the game that I think I picked that one out, uh, game of the round for me was 1-all. So, um, Jake, how's the table looking to you? Pretty starting to see any – it's still pretty close, isn't it? It is. I mean, seven games in South Melbourne, the only undefeated team. I don't know if I, mm. I, I, did, I think I probably would have picked them to be a mid-table team at the start of the year. So that I don't know how surprising that is, but they're still up there. Um, Avondale, Oakley Cannons, Hoddleberg, all probably expected, and Melbourne Knights kind of hanging on there as well. But I mean, five points separating the top seven sides. So yeah, as you say, still, still very, very close. close. And Bentley Green's down in eleventh. Did you pick a game in the in the weekend upcoming, Jake? No, I didn't think there was anything in, yeah, that right. jumped out. I mean, the, across the board, there none of the top sides are playing each other on the mm. the table um, in the ladder. Uh, and rankings wise as well, there was nothing that kind of jumped out too much. Bentley Green's, Oakley Cannons, yeah. probably the one if you had to pick one. Um, based more on, you know, Bentley Greens from previous seasons being up there. But, um, you know, we're talking about third versus uh, 11th. So, yeah, nothing nothing in particular, although there'll be probably next week, I think there's a few games I, I did skip ahead a little bit and there's a couple. Okay. Up- and remind me, Jake, how many teams from Victoria get relegated usually? Uh, they have a, or at least, I don't know if this is still the case, but they had one automatic and then they did like a playoff, playoff promotion with um, – the, the league second beneath. place, yeah. yeah, below. But that was when there used to be an MPL one East and West. So now yeah, that true. it's just an MPL two, I'm not 100 percent sure, but um, mm. definitely one, maybe two. Okay, all right. Let's go to the New South Wales MPL. Um, there is a game on now as well. We'll touch on that at the end. So Sydney Olympic beat Manly United two nil. That was a great result for them. Manly were top of the table, I believe. Yeah, I think they were top of the table before that game. Um, Rockdale beat Northbridge Bulls one nil. Apia and Marconi one all. Mount Druitt Town Rangers beat Blacktown City one nil. Sydney United drew nil all with Wollongong Wolves. And I think Jake, that was your pick of the round that game. And Sydney FC youth team two all with Sutherland Sharks. Um, so Rockdale go top of the table, fourteen points. Sydney United in second. Um, Mount Druitt up in up in fourth. Jake. Yeah, they're doing well, aren't they? Causing a couple of upsets too. Um, Blacktown City, uh, mm. another another scalp for them. Good and. Idea. Ah, uh, who's playing now, Jake? It was Sydney Olympic. Yeah, you're testing me. Sydney uh, Olympic and, and Wolves, Wollongong Wolves. So Wolves yeah. are up one nil in the 42nd minute. So if Wolves can yeah. can win that game, they'll jump up to equal points with Sydney Olympic. So yeah, and that's a catch up game from a week or two ago. Yep. Cool. Have you picked a game for the weekend, Jake? Yeah, you mentioned Mount Druitt, so I've yep. uh, I want to keep 
watching them, seeing how they continue to go. So I've got them, their game against Sydney United, um, who are currently in second. So second versus fourth. And it's uh, partly because Mount Druitt doing well. I want to see how they go. But also Sydney United had that um, 5-1 loss the week last mm-hmm. week to, to Northbridge. And they fell, I think it was four spots in the rankings at the time. And um, they've climbed up. A cut one or two more. It's all very close. So, you know, a win here probably that wouldn't have a huge impact given they're so far above Mount Druid in the rankings. But um, being one of the top sides in the country outside the A League, I want to see if they can kind of keep that spot. Um, but a loss here or even a draw to Mount Druid will definitely hurt their rankings. And if they lose tonight in the FA Cup, Jake, to Bankstown, they'll oh, certainly be huge, will be getting huge smashed impact, in the rankings. Yeah. All right, let's go to Queensland, Jake. Lions beat Redlands United 5 1. Eastern Suburbs with the, probably the upset um, of the round, 3-2 winners over Olympic. Um, I think they they equalised in the 86th minute and then they they won, the, the winner came uh, in extra time. Uh, Peninsula beat Morton Bay 3-2. Kapalabar beat Magpies Crusaders 3-1. Gold Coast Knights um, besting the Brisbane Raw. And I think, Jake, was that your pick of the round that game? It was, it yeah. It was, yeah. Yeah, the Raw were in great form. So uh, the Knights won 2 1. Gold Coast United spanked Sunny Coast Wanderers 5 1. And Logan Lightning uh, beat, I think I previewed this one a little bit and said they, they would get up and they did. They beat Strikers 3 0. And I, wa- I watched the highlights of that one, Jake. It looked like Logan could have won about 6 0. So yeah. Um, yeah, Strikers sitting bottom or equal bottom with Redlands on zero points after four games each. So not, I mean, four games, you'd expect to pick up a few points, but it's, you know, it's just four games. So probably um, the biggest worry for them, Cody, is they've only scored two goals. Mm, yeah, true. And I, and I have a, from memory, one of those might've even been a penalty. So they're, they're struggling yeah. to create uh, and convert chances. Mm, I'd have to have a look at who they've played they so come. far, but yeah, they haven't, I mean, who, who, who in that ladder do you think strikers could actually beat? I mean, Redlands. Well, I mean, they've already lost to Magpies, who are mm. only two places above them, the only win that Magpies have got. Um, and I'm skipping ahead here, Cody, because you'll ask me if I've got a game that I'm looking at, yeah. and it's actually against Redlands this weekend. So 13th versus 14th, Redlands and Strikers. And I think, um, you know, for both teams, they're the the two sides that haven't picked up any points. Um, they're probably, I think, you know, a few weeks ago when you and I made our predictions for who will get relegated, we both said Redlands, I believe, um, yeah. and I said Strikers. And at the moment, they're both down there. So that's the, the game that I'm kind of looking at. In terms of other other sides that are in there, every other team in the league um, kind of mid-table up to, you know, excluding Peninsula and Gold Coast Knights and Brisbane Raw who are doing really well, every other team has kind of dropped some points here and picked up wins elsewhere. Like all of them look like they're reasonable on their day. So yeah. it's quite an interesting competition this year. Absolutely, Jake. Um, my pick of the round would be Logan v. Gold Coast Knights. Um, I don't know. I have, I have a sneaky feeling Logan might get some points from this game. So uh, that'll be yep. a good one. Okay, let's okay. go to South Australian MPL and I'll have to uh, just – yep, here we are here. So, um, yeah, Jake, opening opening round in South Australia and I believe it was on Friday night, Adelaide City came out with a big victory, 2-1 over Campbelltown City. That was our pick of the round on the weekend. Yep. Sturt Lions beat Croydon Kings 2-1. Cumberland United beat Adelaide Olympic 3-0. Adelaide Comets drew one all with Metro Stars in another great clash there in two highly ranked teams. Uh, the Panthers, South Adelaide Panthers beat Adelaide United Youth Team 2-0. And Raiders beat Adelaide Blue Eagles 1-0. So um, how did... Wait, where do you, Comets? Did we mention them? Oh, yeah, Metro Stars. That's right. Yep. So, yeah, Jake, um, any games for the weekend coming up? Uh, yeah, I've picked out Sturt Lions. So Sturt was one of the teams okay. promoted from from last year, and they had that win against Croydon Kings, quite a good round one win. Um, and they're playing Campbelltown City, who, as we mentioned, had that loss on the opening round to Adelaide City, but Campbelltown is still the highest-ranked South Australian side. Mm. Um, up until the opening round we, we mentioned last week, they were sitting in um, four, ranked 14th in the country. So one of the highest outside of the A-League. Uh, they fell a couple of spots to 16th and it's going to be tough for them to hold a ranking that high without dominating the league basically. So, um, and stirred a quite, quite a fair bit below them in the rankings. So that's my pick for the, for the round. Cool. Let's go to the West Australian MPL. Perth beat Bayswater 2-1. Um, so, so great result there for Perth. 
Uh, Florida Athena make it four wins from four, beating Inglewood United 3-2. And Florida, somehow, Jake... Went down one spot in the rankings. How does that work? Did they? No, I think it. I think even though they had a win, they picked up some points. But Inglewood ranked quite a bit below them, so they didn't pick up a yeah, lot right. of points. And, and it was, someone around them. Yes, yeah, some of the teams around them obviously uh, picked up more. Yeah, anyway, they're in thirty fifth. Uh, Florida Athena. Uh, Balcata drew one all with Guelph Croatia. ECU June Dallet beat Sorrento three nil. Rockingham City won all with Armidale and Perclore Youth Team, 5-3 winners over Coburn City. So we're four games through, and as I mentioned, Florida Athena on top, uh, four wins from four on 12 points, and ECU, June Dallop, uh in second spot. So, Jake, did you pick a game from the West Australian MPL? Nothing to preview, although uh, Bayswater against Florida Athena is probably an interesting mm. one. Um, rankings has Florida Athena as pretty strong favourites given Bayswater have been falling uh, in the rankings over the, the previous years, but Bayswater are sitting in fifth, two wins from four, two wins, two losses. So that's probably the one for me. Cool. Okay. Tasmania. So South Hobart spanked Launceston City 5-0. Um, Riverside Olympic went down 3-2 at home to Devonport City. Uh, Clarence Zebras beat Olympia Warriors 5-1 away from home and Glenorchy Knights make it three from three. Uh, five two winners against Kingborough Lions away from home as well. Jake, you pre- did we preview that one last week? We did, we did. That yeah, that was my pick. Um, both sides that were two from two at that point. So mm. yeah, I mean they're still sitting second and third on the the ladder though. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, yeah. There's two teams who have won all three games: South Hobart and Glenorchy Knights. Um, and Glenorchy face Devonport this weekend, Jake. Yep, yeah, and that's my pick for the the game of the round. Um, Devon Porter in fourth, Glenarchy Knights, Glenarchy, Glenorchy, who knows? Uh, mm-hmm. Somebody does. Uh, are, are in second, so that's probably the big one. And Devon Porter have been a very strong side, or the strongest um, in previous years, and aside from South Hobart, maybe. But uh, yep. I expect Devon Port to continue climbing. I, I mean, the rankings still have Glenarchy Knights and King Bar Lions, for that matter, ranked a lot lower than South Hobart and Devon Port City. But if they can get a win against Devon Port, that'll definitely shoot them up a bit. Cool. Okay, Northern New South Wales, uh, Charlestown, Azuri went down 1-0 at home to Broadmeadow Magic. Maitland, the only team to win all three games uh, of, of the season so far, they beat Newcastle Olympic away from home 4-2. Western Workers got up 2-0 over Adamstown Rosebud. Uh, Lambden Jaffers beat Valentine FC 1-0. And Jake, can you believe it? Lake Macquarie City, we talked about them last week. They beat Edgeworth Eagles 3-2. So, they jumped up about, well, it says about three spots in the rankings from that win, and I'm sure they picked up a bunch of points. So, um, yeah, the, uh, as I think Lake Macquarie have played Maitland, Edgeworth, and who else was it? Broadmeadow, I think, or maybe it was Lambton in there. Anyway, they've no, played th- three yeah. of the, I th- the I best I think it might be Broadmeadow. And yeah. uh, the uh, preview for next week, Cody, round four, yep. they're playing Lambton Jaffers. So oh, there you go. There the, you go. <laughs> yeah, probably the four five or top sides, at least yeah. from the rankings. So, Jeez, they've the they've had I've, a tough tough start, haven't they? They have, and that's that's the one that I've picked out as the game of the round in Northern New South Wales for me. Lambton Jaffers at home to Lake Macquarie. And Lambton Jaffers, um, 86% chance or probability, according to the rankings, of winning this. So Lake Macquarie are, are up against it. But I reckon that they had an even lower chance against Ed- Edgeworth and they've won that. Mm. Um, but Cody Edgeworth, with that loss um, last week or in the round just gone, fell a couple of spots or three more spots down to 23rd in the rankings. Another loss here or even a, a draw probably uh, would be enough to knock them out of the top 25. Mm. And the next team... Uh, behind them in the rankings from from that area is Maitland on 34th. So uh, not too far away. They might be swapping spots this season if they keep um, yeah. the way they're going. I go, all right, I think we're finished. Yep, we're finishing off the NPL wrap with the ACT. So they had their first game over the weekend. Um, West Canberra Wanderers went down 4-1 at home to Gungalin United. Canberra Olympic beat Monaro Panthers 4-1 away from home. Tuggeranong went down at home. All the home teams lost this week, Jake. Um, Tuggeranong yeah. went down at home, 1-0 to Belcon and United in Canberra. Croatia beat Kuma FC 3-0. Jay, did you pick any games for the upcoming weekend? I did. I picked uh, Canberra Olympic against Belconnen, both teams okay. that had opening round wins, and rankings have them at 50-50. So okay. I think ranked 113th is Belconnen and 114th is Canberra Olympic. So that should very be evenly split, and that's uh, my pick for the round. All right, let's go to the top 
25, Jake. Um, I, as you mentioned, I don't think you got around to updating it from last night's FFA Cup games. No, but so, so Tuesday and Wednesday FFA Cup games won't yep. be in here yet. This will be yep. uh, just the weekend games, including Monday. There was a couple of um, games around the country, but so those will be in there. A um, couple of movements, Cody. One is that Gold Coast Knights have now climbed into the top 25, so there's four Queensland clubs in there now. Uh, and they've come in at the expense of Blacktown City uh, yep. that we mentioned went down to uh, Mount Druitt. Um, there's actually a lot of, uh, and we mentioned this, I think, last week, but there's a lot of top 25 clubs in the rankings that are, are dropping points at the moment. Um, so there's a bit of a shake-up happening, especially if you look at the last 30 days and not just the weekend gone. So clubs kind of falling down quite a bit. Um, Florida Athena are creeping up as well. So Western Australia's highest-ranked club currently in 30 35th, I believe. Mm-hmm. Um, and they're not actually, I mean, it, it sounds like they're still quite away from the top 25, but just to give you an idea, the points gap between 25th, which is Gold Coast Knights and Florida Athena in 35th is only 50 points. Mm-hmm. Um, now that'll take probably a, you know, a month worth of just wins to, to catch up, but um, it's definitely not you know unreachable for, for Florida if they keep the form going the way they are anyway. Yeah, for sure. And have a good FFA Cup run as well. Although I can't exactly, remember yeah. how, how they've done so far. Or I think their draw came out. Um, or was that the ACT? That might have been Capital. Um, yeah, forget what I just yeah, said. Yeah, I'm not sure. Actually, and one more thing, Cody, in the top 25 mm-hmm. is that Melbourne Victory, after falling to as, down to the lowest A-League club, they had their win um, over the weekend against Newcastle Jets and they've climbed back above MacArthur at least for one more round. Yeah, well, MacArthur are playing as we speak as well. They're one all with Adelaide uh, United at the moment. So, all right, the last thing we always finish on, Jake, is the under-23 draft pick. Uh, we pick 10 players from the A-League who are under the age of 23, and uh, we follow them through the Fantasy A-League website sports deck, and they get a score each week. Jake, we've been ridiculously close um, all season longer, and after 16 rounds, at least there's still this one game going on, but I just had a quick look. We're equal on points this round. Yeah, and uh, Cody, when we it seems every week all these midweek games that, that are happening in the A League. Mm. Um, last week when we were recorded, there was a game still being played as well, uh, and the final score at the end of that one um, was that I actually got an extra handful of points, and I ended up yep. a little ahead of you last week. Mm-hmm. And overall on the rankings, that put me two points in front of you, so I, okay. I did climb back in front slightly. Uh, and yeah, as you mentioned, as of right now. Um, excluding the game that's still live. We're on 32 points each this round. No big scorers other than um, Lachlan Rose for you, Cody. Scored a goal yeah. for, for MacArthur and he's obviously... Off the bench as game. well. Yeah, and he's got the game um, at the moment, so there's potential for more points there. Um, the other players that are still playing uh, are only going to favour you. I've got Delianov for Adelaide who who isn't playing um, and you've still got... Denny Genre and Diarigo if he manages to get on the field as well. So I, th- I think he got a red card on the weekend. Oh, that's right, he did. Yeah, yeah. so he because he got um, some negative points. So yeah, he's yeah. he won't be in there. But uh, anyway, we as it stands right now, we're equal on points, and I've overall I've got a two point gap. Um, but I, I imagine by the end of this game happening now, you'll be back in front by a slim margin. Jeez, very, very close. All right, Jake, anything else to mention? I mean, obviously, there's a bunch of FFA Cup games. Um, so those involved in the FFA Cup FFA Cup tipping, I'll uh, look to update that maybe tomorrow if any yep. big teams are gone. Uh, it might be Sydney United. Um, Jake Calandra, uh, my team went down last night to Pine Hills away from home, 3-2, unfortunately. So we're out of the FFA Cup and the, the dream is over. And our old team from last year that we play, both played in, AC Karina got spanked, didn't they? Eight three or something. Yeah, it was. I think I checked the score because I didn't get out to watch because it was freezing and midweek. But um, oh, you can't say it was freezing. Yeah, okay. We, we, we might have. We got a little bit cold. Where, where, yeah, I'm Queen. Yeah, that's true. For for Queenslanders, it was a little cold, yeah. but uh, it was four nil after about twenty minutes. So it wasn't. It was never looking good. Um, there's a. We, we, there'll be more of these coming up, but there's one big blockbuster game in the FFA Cup coming up, and that's Melbourne Knights against South mm. Melbourne. Um, they've been drawn together. I have to go back and check, but at least twice before in previous oh, okay. years. Yeah, right. um, 
maybe a third time as well. So it seems to be one of those kind of clashes that it's disappointing in one sense because both sides, you'd like to you'd see like Moreno Petty too, but at the same time, it's like this FFA Cup rivalry. Um, yeah. So, yeah, it'll be interesting. And um, as you mentioned, there's some other games happening right now, which means um, some more draws will be coming out in the next probably week or so. Yep, perfect. All right, Jake, um, thanks for joining me. Thanks, everyone, for listening, and we'll see you back here next week. See you, Jake. See you later, Cody.